everyone. In this and upcoming tutorials we are going to learn some basics in the assembly language. To begin let's download a program called Mars. It is an IDE for programming in MIPS and also a runtime simulator. It will allow us to execute code and go through each line individually. Also we can see the memory allocation at the runtime. So let's begin. Go to this link. It is also in the description. And download Mars program. It is a Java program and very lightweight. There is no installation, just a download and run. If you don't have Java then download it. There is a link on the Mars website for it. Ok, so open the program. Let's see. On the right portion of the screen you can find registers. We have 32 general purpose registers from 0 to 31. When we want to reference a register we must type dollar sign. So, there are two formats for addressing. First is by using register numbers like $15, $22 and so on. And the second way is to use equivalent names like $T1, S1, S0 and so on. Then we have some special registers uh, high and low, but we will talk about them a little bit later. Let's talk about program structure. So we have two parts of the code. The first part of the code is a place where we make our variable declaration. That place is indicated with assembler directive dot data. Let's just create a new blank project to see and create one data directive, file new and type in dot data. And here in this area under the data we type our declarations. Now let's add one more directive. It's called text. In this directive we type our code or to be more precise instructions. We are actually writing instructions. Uh, basically, when we start writing programs, it is good practice to have a label indicating the beginning of our code execution. So, we can type a label named the main, because it is actually used everywhere in programming languages. But don't think that you must write the word main, you can actually skip it, you don't have to type it, but it is just an indicator, so you can type anything you want, like program start, for example. Besides this, it is a good practice to have a label for exiting the program, so let's create one more. So label exit. More about these labels we will see later.